It's Eve 2020, June 10th. I am Adderall here with uh, Dutch Gunner. Hi, everyone. Okay, let's start with the uh, PCU for yesterday or today. I have 34,750. Uh, the trough of this one is about 18,000. And currently we have uh, over 30,000 players. I'm going to move through this stuff quickly today. We're looking at EVE Online statistics, the most violent systems in the last 24 hours, as categorized by Dotlan. In uh, NullSec, we'll start there. Geminate, 929 ships destroyed. Delve in second place, 531. And in third place, Kalevala Expanse, 557 ships destroyed. Pales in comparison to Empire Space, where Lone Trek is in first place with 2,905 ships destroyed. Domain in second place, 2,648. And Forge coming in third at 2,002 ships destroyed. Most violent systems, BWF, TAC, and Geminate, 486 ships destroyed. That's in the last three hours. There's something going on there right now. Uh, we'll check it out. And uh, in second place, T, TAC, A, K, that's in Tener Tenerife. We haven't heard that region in a while. 344 ships destroyed there in the last 24 hours. And finally, in Venal, third place, System is K3JR, 128 ships destroyed. Most violent systems in low sec. Nenamela from Black Rise, 467 ships destroyed. That is a battle between Goon Swarm and NC Dot Horde. We'll check that out. I think that came up to over uh, 200 billion or 150 billion. It's a big fight. In second place is a system under invasion, Nisua. That's in Black Rise. I may be wrong. That's a, might be a Fortizar. Yeah, I don't think it's. I'm not sure if it's under uh, invasion, but there is something going on in Nisua. And in third, uh, so that's 424 ships, and then in third place, Tama 294. Ooh, some big stuff going on in high sec again. Narcia, 1,721 ships destroyed. Uh, and then you have Jita in second place, 430. And then Clenanon in Verge Vendor, 270 ships destroyed. Don't usually see Verge Vendor on here, so we'll check that out too. First to that fight in Nene Mela. Now, this is Faction War, I believe. Let's have a look here. Yeah, it's uh, on the border of Black Rise and Placid. It's down here at the bottom. That goes right into the, uh, I would call the northern part of Placid, which is uh, near Orville and Osman, Osmenda, or Osmaden. Uh, and yeah, it's basically... How you get into Black Rise from Placid. It's your first step in there. Yeah, this huge spike, so it looks like it just happened uh, not long ago. Uh, over 300 ships. Let's look at the battle report. Yeah, this is less than two hours old, or it started two hour, less than two hours ago. It did end about a half hour ago. This is uh, Goon Swarm. This is the Imperium, basically. Goon Swarm, TNT, Bastion, Ranger Regiment, who's now part of the Imperium. Uh, lawn, or Get Off My Lawn, Dracarys, also now part of the Imperium. Taking on Snuffed Out. Uh, Snuffed Out was helped by Siege Green Fraternity, uh, Infinity Ra Avenger. And there's Pandemic Horde. 
So that fight is heating up. Then they had some third partiers uh, in there as well. Let's have a look. Imperium or Snuffed Out and Allies. Um, first of all, the total number of ISK loss. Oh my god, it's 500. 479 billion ISK lost. So I was wrong about that, over 100. It's a, it's a huge fight that just happened. Uh, the Imperium lost most of that. 355 billion for the Imperium loss. That's about a 25% efficiency. Uh, and it looks like... Uh, I think, uh, yeah, it looks like... I wonder if they got the objective. Let's go see if we can see something. We'll take this system name. Drop it in there. This should be a very recent fight, so yeah, it looks like dreads there. These are all related. You can see when the ship types are exactly the same, that's, that's a fleet fight. So we'll just pick any one of those and hit the related button here. And that should group them up for us, yeah. So you had like, well, according to Z Killboard, um, about 570 uh, Imperium and about 340, sorry, 380. Um, I don't know what they call these guys now. They're growing, the coalitions are growing so big, but this is Pandafam aiding uh, snuffed out. Now it looks like it was. Possibly over an Astra House. That seems to be a structure that was uh, shot here. If it was, the Astra House survived. Uh, but this looks like a Dread Brawl. Wow, and a very lopsided Dread Brawl. A ton of uh, revelations just... Uh, Piled up. Oh, here, here's the revelations for uh, Snuffed Out. So they went down too. Yeah, this looks like Dread Brawled, which makes sense because they're both fighting. Well, uh, Pan Fam uh, is fighting away from their, their super cap fleet and so is the Imperium so what you're going to see this is the next best thing for them is a ton of dreads which are more portable uh, so since both these guys are fighting away from their home base they're going to be using uh, dreads not uh, super capitals if they were near each other you, this would have been a super capital fight just looks like a ton of dreads or alternatively, because there was no super capital coverage, they were more willing to commit a regular capital force without having to worry too much about being out escalated. That's something you also see a lot more these days when there isn't really the super or titan escalation. Um, and depending on how things escalate with just drops and counter drops and then counter counter drops, you can really see these massive slugfests. Good point. Yeah, so that's the big fight today. Happened two hours ago. Okay. Uh, so that was huge, huge, huge. Close to 500 billion and mostly dreads. A uh, collision of uh, Titan groups. They're the biggest groups there are. Let me let me rephrase that. Not Titan groups, but groups that are uh, apex predators in the game right now are the biggest empires colliding over Snuffed Out. Uh, snuffed Out is being attacked by its old ally, the Imperium. 
Okay. Um, looking at, there was somewhere else I wanted to look at too. What's going on in Nisua? I should know it. We brought it up yesterday, I believe. It was some kind of a fight yesterday. Yeah, it had over 150 ship kills. Let me see if I can figure it out. Hmm. Yeah, all right, there's something in the sewer, but it uh, looks like there's more combat. That came up yesterday, and I can't think of why. Oh, look, a gold pod. Okay, let's see. Move on to kills in just a second. First, uh, let's see. There was one more place. Yeah, BWF. Uh, since that's going on right now, let's see what's going on. Ooh, dark side and horde. Horde's busy. They're all over the place. So we're looking at B. W, F, TAC, and Geminate. This is a uh, horde controlled territory. Ah, thank you, uh, Xylex. Uh, that was a timer. You were there? Tell us who was there. <laughs> uh, GMVA defended the timer. This looks like a ton of different things. All right, so this action in EWFA. All right, uh, so there's action in those systems, and as um, Zilek said, GMVA defended a timer. I think that was for what system was that? Nasawa or? Um, Let me know. Oh, yikes. I just hit the wrong button. One second. There we go. Uh, so let's just jump over to the top kills. And top kills for today are sparse. Oh, over 10 billion anyway. And it's just one Titan belong to triumvirate admiral ithorian that's hilarious ithorian is uh the hammerhead creature in star wars taken out by the rogue consortium uh, we've talked to them here that was in derelict that's right next to providence in uh, bershir so that was uh, about the typical um Titan in that it will cost about 75 billion. Uh, and going back just a bit further, uh, Bruder Tribe, which is an NPC corporation, which means this guy was uh, by himself, Nate Gordo. Uh, he lost a hell in Metropolis in the system of uh, Mate Bear. It was taken out by Verge Collapse. So he probably was uh, ratting and got picked off. 
And Goon Swarm loses an Asbel in Delve uh, in LUA5. Uh, taken out by Goon Swarm itself, so it was probably an abandoned structure. Okay, let's go to some news stories. First, let me finish up something. So uh, the Nisua campaign was uh, GMVA defending their timer. Uh, I think that's... Uh, is GMVA Galente Militia? Because, yeah, that was... An... I should know that. Uh, and they were outnumbered four to one, but defended looks more even than it was due to the reship, uh, the reship in system. Uh, so that was Nisawa and it was, I guess, successfully defended. Yeah, Valora Chords. Okay. I think they're involved in Faction War. They should be with a name like Valor Accords. Valor is the capital of Galente. Oh, I like that corporation, Moria. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. All right, good job there. Moving on to news news. Uh, CCP TV's Tech Stravaganza is live on Twitch today. So check that out. That's in about three hours. Three and a half hours from now. Um, but just so you know, in case you're watching this later, it's June 10th, 1900 CCP TV. If you miss it, you can go to twitch.tv slash CCP and see the video there because it will be recorded. Super happy to have... Uh, Twitter back. As I said, it was having some terrible lag issues, so I couldn't use it. Uh, oh, now I remember why Nusawa was in the news, because it was the first time that system had flipped in faction warfare in 10 years, or a long time. I think maybe 8 years. So that was a big, big deal. And so here is, uh, I believe this guy works with uh, Kaldari Militia. Corvus Onzo. And he's showing the progress that Caldari Militia is making. So congratulations, Caldari Militia. It's suspected that uh, the Galente Militia is a lot weaker than it used to be because a lot of those fighters are off fighting Triglavians. And we we did have some we did have some uh concerns about how the uh Eden Com versus Triglavian war that's happening now would attract players that belong to the faction war between empires. And so I guess this is creating some volatility there. It's interesting. Okay, so that's interesting. Th Saint Corvus, Carvus's name, uh, and Kandali, Kandali, Kaldari militia really uh, brought that back. And that was only yesterday. Where's my memory going? What else we got here? Oh, Razorian's taking pictures of uh, Triglavian stuff. He's he's an amazing photographer. Let's take a closer look at that. Good stuff for Zorian. His resolution's so good on this, you could you could really get in there. Yeah, that's that's just amazing. Oh, check that out. That's a really good picture from Resorian, of course. Yeah, 
Here's the Titan Triumvirate kill. Happened two hours ago. Remember, the CSM will be announced this Friday, 1900, on CCP stream. Find out who won uh, the 10 seats. Um, the Lightning Strikes event will start on the 15th. That's in five days. But right now, the uh, login rewards have already started. So make sure you log in. There's two rewards. So do make sure you get both. <laughs> yeah, right now, I think Eve is where? Where would you say Eve is right now as far as w what's on the minds of um, most people that travel through talking in stations uh, my guess is they're 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 de, de what do you call it unpacking uh and analyzing or deconstructing um the new ships and how they will be used and that's kind of where a lot of people are putting their efforts i think it's split across a couple of things um on the one hand the the action going um the, the NOSEC just keeps telling their own story, going after opportunities or creating opportunities. Um, there's the entire start with uh, Edencom and their supporters versus Triclavians and their supporters. There's the new ships. So there's a lot going on. And I think everybody is fairly split with, with uh, what they're trying to get their hands in order to try to stay ahead of in the game. Yeah. Uh, here's uh, Eve I um, Explorer. So this is a mapping tool for Eve Online that looks really sharp. It's nice. It's nice. It's pretty interesting. Good design work. Uh, we use .land because it's a lot clearer. It has a bunch of statistics, but uh, this is a good option for you if you want to see it. Uh, let's have a look at it, actually. Looks like they just added invasions to it. Nice guy. I've talked to this developer many times, and um, he's a really nice guy, and he's uh, does a lot of work for this. You can see the uh, uh, Rara Voss there. So he's got a f he's got effective uh, security on here, where Dotland doesn't have a security change. So he's uh, ahead of the game there. Uro, uh-oh. Is that being invaded? That's a system near Providence, uh, right on the border there. Yeah, so all that is domain. So check that out. Eve I, all one word. Hmm. Okay, that looks like that's it for for there. I'll take one last look at uh, the kill board for uh, Nisua. This is a battle report. Is this Tengu's I see? Oh, I love it. So, uh, Templus Calcif. That's the uh, faction war group for uh, Kaldari. They they fly their own race, racial ships, which is the uh, Tech 3 cruiser, Tengus. And they're Drakes. <laughs> and Cerberus, which are assault frigates. Ah, oh, somebody just fell out of character using shield uh, logistics uh, that belong to Minmatar. Uh, I think Galente work with the Minmatar, not Kaldari. Kaldari work with Amar. I think that's kind of kind of funny. 
yes, we just saw the 500 billion dread um, fight that just happened. Uh, it's earlier in the show. All right, I think that's everything we have. I think for, for funsies, I'm going to do one more thing. Yeah, let's look at... Okay, Nenemela, that was a huge fight, 500 billion, but there was one revelation there that was worth over 5 billion. Belonged to Goon Swarm. Trying to see where the money was on this one. Uh, just had some blue, some A types in the lows. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. The ship was worth about uh, one point eight billion. Uh, its cargo is only 130 billion. Uh, and all I see over a billion is uh, the rigs. Oh, he had, a, he had a he had one rig that was uh, over a billion. And then he had some A types in the low slots. So I guess that added up to uh, just over five, five billion. Don't see these off that often anymore. New Eden Scientific Concern Alliance lost a ship maintenance array. These are pod structures that are being phased out, uh, but they're still use, usable and uh, was killed by wormhole rats in Fromage. Uh, must be a wormhole group that took it out oh, just over 5 billion. And then the ship maintenance bays obviously are where you build ships. So let's see if there was something inside. Uh, sorry, it's not where you build ships, it's where you hold ships. Uh, and drones too, I believe. Oh yeah, this is a jackpot of uh, good, good loot. Somebody scored with that. Um, so they had about a 3.5 billion isk loot drop in J space. So that was pretty good. Other than that, kind of a slow day. Huge fight, dreads uh, inside of um, Black Rise, border Black Rise and Placid. That's really what, that's really what happened uh, today. And um, look for the tech extravaganza that CCP is gonna show. That's in a couple hours on, or three hours in the CCP channel. You should check that out. Uh, I do want to take a minute to thank uh, Xylex Zenith there for always uh, helping talking in stations out and uh, going the extra mile. Like, uh, he knows what I'm talking about. Appreciate it very much. But don't go the extra mile uh, if um, it's a bad time. And I want to thank um, Dutch for hanging out. Oh, yeah, no problem. Happy to drop in whenever I can. Yeah, it's always good to have you here. Uh, so we'll uh, wrap up today, and we will see you tomorrow. Enjoy EVE Online. Until then. It was Bjorn's birthday yesterday, so we're going to send you over to him today. Sorry we missed that, uh, but here you go.